The first thing we're going to make is something called asobuki, and that translates to veal shanks. And when you do veal shanks, you want to do them in a really heavy duty pot, something like this, a Dutch oven type pot, where the meat is just going to fit nicely in the pot. We don't want a big pot because we, don't, we want these to, to cook evenly and retain their juices. And we don't want that all spread out and evaporated in a big pot. So in my pot, I have got four beautiful looking veal shanks and I've browned them on one side in some butter. And now I want to turn them over because I want to really brown them well. This is going to help seal in the juices and also give it a really beautiful flavor. So we're going to let those brown now. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to serve them. We're going to have them with rice. And this is not ordinary rice. This is arborio rice. It's the same rice that's used to make risotto. But we're not going to make risotto today. We're just going to cook the rice in some water. And then I'm going to flavor it with some saffron. So you need about one cup of rice and about two tablespoons of warm water and a few saffron threads. We're going to put it in the water and let that kind of dissolve and get a nice yellow color to it. And in this pot here, I already have some rice cooking. I've cooked a cup of the arborio rice in two cups of water. And now I'm going to add some butter to that. Put some butter in. Remember, we're saving this until the end. Some butter, and we want some Parmigiano, Reggiano cheese. Oh, I would say a good half a cup of cheese. Now let's give this a good stir. And this can just sit here until we're ready to serve the asobuki. Now they're going to take about two hours to cook in the oven. Take them out onto a plate. This is about three and a quarter pounds of veal shank. This is going to serve four people. And now I want to add some onion. So I'm going to put some onion in my pot. So I'm going to add just two cloves of garlic to this. So you want to mince that up and add this to the onions. Meanwhile, you want to put your oven on at 225 degrees. This is really going to cook at a very low temperature and it's going to make the meat extremely tender. So here's a quarter of a cup of water. And to that we're going to add a quarter of a cup of tomato paste or tomato sauce. Stir that in. Put the shanks back in the pan with the juices that have accumulated on the dish. And then I'm going to raise the heat here for a minute. Turn the heat up and give that some vino rosso. So oh, about a quarter of a cup of red wine goes in. If you didn't want to use red wine, you could use white wine. So that's about a quarter of a cup. Just want enough liquid there to keep the meat from burning. You let that just burn off for a few minutes and then you add your water with your tomato sauce. So we're going to put that in. I want to put a piece of foil there. And I do that so that I don't interfere with the heat on the meat. So I put a piece of foil right in the pot on top of the meat to prevent any water condensation from the lid getting in there. And it also holds the heat in the pot. Then I put the top on, turn this off, and now this can go in the oven. Preheated 225 degrees. And you can forget about it. So I'm about ready to serve up my asobuki. So I'm going to mix the rice around to make sure that all the butter and everything is well incorporated into that. And then add my saffron. And you know saffron is very expensive, so you want to use it very, very, very sparingly. So the saffron goes in. 
you mix that around and you see what a nice yellow color this gives. There's that piece of foil, you see. Take that off. Just take a look at that. Just take a look at that. Look at how beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Look at how beautiful, tender, it's falling apart. And now we need to plate that. So you make a nice bed of rice. Beautiful color from the saffron. You've got the parmigiano, that giano in there. Mm -mm -mm. And now we want to take, get another spoon here because these are delicato now, and place these. Look at how gorgeous. Mm. That juice is going to be absolutely wonderful. Wipe up the, the dish on the side because I really don't want to serve that to you looking messy. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then just a little more fresh parsley over the top.